Hey friends, the kids are down, the monitor's on, and tonight we are drinking Bacon and Eggs Porter from Pizza Port Brewing Company in Carlsbad, California. It's beer after bedtime. Let's get to it. Alright, so tonight's beer is Pizza Port. Check out this guy. Let's see if we can do it without too hot of a reflection on it. Uh, I see an egg and some bacon watching a beer stein surfing. That's what I got for you. All right. Not bad. It is a Imperial Coffee Porter brewed and canned by Pizza Port Brewing Company in Carlsbad, California. So stretching a little further from home, we're looking at 8% alcohol by volume. Get you another look at that can there. And uh, yeah, it's another one of those um, paired up with a coffee house kind of beers, which is kind of awesome. I love the, the partnership there. Uh, it even has a little label at the bottom saying it is part of the Beer Buddies project, which is pretty sweet. Uh, story, it tells a nice little story about a mix of Ethiopian and Sumatran blends. Uh, they're partnered with Bird Rock Coffee Roasters in California. Nice. Uh, what we're looking for out of this is Imperial Coffee Porter that drinks like a medium roast coffee with balanced bitterness. Um, there should also be some coffee notes in here, so we're not going to actually get bacon and eggs. I would miss the bacon. I would not be sad to not get eggs. So I'm not. Let's drink. I always love that sound. Okay. There we go. To your health. Whoa! Did I stop in time? Oh, just barely. All right. Switch those puppies around. So get a look at this. Well, that was just in time. So that is as black as the night. And that's exactly what I look for in those darker beers. This is a I keep saying porter and I keep thinking I've got it wrong. It is no, it is an Imperial Coffee Porter. It's the fact that it comes from Pizza Port that throws me off. No big deal. Let's get right to it here. Oh, immediate coffee, immediate chocolate. It is right, right at the tip there. Okay, now the problem I've always had with coffee beers is that I like my beers cold and I like my coffee hot. And so I get that smell of the coffee, but it smells like you had a cup of coffee brewing at six in the morning and you set it down somewhere and right before lunch, you find it again, go, mm. yeah, I'm going to drink it. Got a long day ahead. Um, that's what it smells like initially to me. All right, enough to your health. Yep, that is a cup of coffee, all right. It's got some hops, it's got the beery notes, but that tastes like a cup of cold black coffee. I think I'm going to pull my wife in here a little bit earlier than I normally do and get her take on it. Hang on just a sec. Dun -dun 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 -dun. So I just pulled the wife in because this is, she's a coffee connoisseur. Uh, I am not. I drink it because I need to be awake. So I put lots of sugar and cream and whatever it takes to get it down the gullet. Uh, and this hit me really hard with coffee. Like, that's a cup of coffee to me. It is so much a cup of coffee that I don't, ah, okay, the hops are there. I can feel them a little bit on the, the aftertaste, but mostly this feels like a, like a carbonated coffee drink, which for a brunch, uh, that would be brilliant. This would be an excellent brunch beer. Uh, my wife also pointed out it would make a good uh, vanilla ice cream float. If you're looking for that mocha feel to it. I do taste a hint of chocolate in there, but mostly that is hardcore coffee. I would down a giant plate of waffles with this beer sitting next to me, and I would be happy as could possibly be. That's what I'm thinking about. 
Uh, 8% ABV. Um, there's got to be some IBUs in there. I'll put them up here. Uh, but not too bitter. It's very smooth for being a giant cup of bubbly coffee. Uh, I'll keep working on this and we'll see what we think. Music. Music in your household can make your life infinitely better. And it doesn't really matter what kind of music. Kids love music, they love the sound of it, they like to jam, they like to rock out. And now that my generation is coming of age, they're picking up guitars and they're rocking out to kids' music stuff, which is pretty awesome. I gotta say, there was like kids' bop, I think, when I was growing up. We never listened to any of that stuff. You know, I remember like some camp songs and things like that from church camp, but other than that, there wasn't a whole lot growing up as a kid. Nowadays, everybody's got their own kids book and stuff like that, but moreover, they're going into kids music. My favorite band is the Presidents of the United States of America. Chris Ballou, who was the lead singer of that band, put out a lot of albums under a different name Casper Baby Pants. If you haven't heard of him, link in the description below for reals. This guy is good. Um, he is fun. He is bubbly and bright. It's it's not the presidents, but the presidents were very close to that sort of feel anyway. Uh, there are a lot of things like that that are out right now that are really good. Um, the stuff that my kids get into is the Lori Berkner band. They got some good songs in there. I can't play any of them for you because of copyright. Um, but look them up. You know, I'll see. Maybe I'll put a link. Oh, I almost lost the beer. Maybe I'll put a link up here if I can figure out how to do that stuff. Otherwise, in the description below, check out this stuff. Casper Baby Pants. Yes. Lori Berkner band. Absolutely. Uh, we are the dinosaurs song. Awesome. Uh, the Cat Came Back, which is a uh, cover, but an excellent song too. Uh, and what is it? Oh, The Goldfish. Those are three excellent songs by the Lori Burton Band. I recommend if you've got a smart speaker, just tell it to make a playlist right now. You won't regret it. Who else? Perry Grip is a singer songwriter that was doing like little competition things. Hey, who can make the best song this week about this silly meme thing? It's a cat flushing the toilet, and he knocked out, I don't want to say a banger or anything like that, but I can still hear it in my head. Every time the kids go to flush the toilet, I go, meow, and they go, ha ha, dad, it's that song. Uh, Perry Grip is hilarious. I think my favorite song of Perry Grip's would have to be Neon Pegasus, uh, because it features the line, unbreak your heart, Neon Pegasus, and go flying through the night. And the concept of unbreaking your heart just feels really good. And for me, having the smart speaker and having the subscription service that goes with it to be able to just chat out, hey, play the goldfish. Because my kids are crazy, they're jumping all over the house, they're causing a ruckus, and I need to direct that in a way that is not trashing my living room. Casper Baby Pants, Run Baby Run, Stompy the Bear, and Frozen Penguin. If you're gonna pick three songs by Casper Baby Pants, put those in the list, knock them out. It is an excellent time. So, Bacon and Eggs Porter. While I admit I am disappointed that it does not taste at all like bacon or eggs, it's good. This is a solid brunch beer. As far as tonight, uh, I will curse your name, Pizza Port, if there is caffeine in this in about two hours if I'm still awake. Otherwise, a darn tasty beer. Will I finish it? Yes. Will I purchase more of it? Probably not. While I doubt this is going to be my last coffee porter, uh, that we'll have on this show as far as this specific one. It is as advertised and nothing more. All right, folks, thank you for joining me. I appreciate it. Please consider liking and subscribing. You get an option up here in just a bit. It says subscribe. Just click on it. You'll join us for any time we do a show. You'll be with us. Until next time.
Finish the beer, get some sleep. Cheers. Oh, I forgot to do the fake um, death metal kids song I was going to do. Go to sleep, little baby. Tuck yourself in tight. Eat your whole breakfast. And you'll be all right. Ha, ha, ha.